Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to revisit the Bars Leaks liquid aluminum cooling system radiator and heater core stop leak. So I put this in our Chrysler 300 just about a year ago and it has worked up to this point. We haven't had any leaks from the antifreeze um, and then just today it started leaking and you can see it's leaking pretty good there. So um, I want to try the Bars Leak stop leak again to see if we can get this um, antifreeze to stop leaking out of our Chrysler 300. So let's take a look under the hood. Um, but before we do, if you haven't seen that first video I'm going to link that video at the end of this one and if you have time and you're interested please check it out okay let's take a look under the hood make sure that your vehicle is off and completely cooled down before you ever try to open the radiator cap you never want to try to open the radiator cap while your vehicle is hot it is incredibly dangerous and will explode all over you so make sure that your vehicle is off and completely cooled down before you ever try to open the radiator cap and whenever you're working with vehicles, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment. For this job, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles and make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, so about a year ago, I used the Bars Leaks liquid aluminum cooling system radiator and heater core stop leak on this vehicle. But I wasn't able to use it all just because when I was uh, pouring it in here, it filled all the way up. So there wasn't enough space. So this is what's left from that first um, application and yeah if you guys haven't seen that video I'll link it at the end of this video and if you have time and you're interested please check it out um, you know but since then it's been al almost a year and we haven't had any uh, issues with antifreeze leaking so you know for us it did what we wanted it to do but um, you know as you saw the car is leaking uh, antifreeze again and so I'm just going to add what's left here um, and then we'll drive the car around a little bit and we'll see if that stops the the leak and here's the back of the the bottle here and before you ever use this stuff make sure that you read through all the warnings and instructions and the danger stuff on here uh, make sure that you read through all of this and understand it completely there's a lot of information on here um, and you want to make sure that you do this the the safe way and the right way so um, okay, so let's go ahead and add what's left here. It does say to shake this up. It says shake well. Yeah, and I showed this in the first, I mean, it's just kind of like a, it's just like this weird, you know, silvery liquid. But yeah, okay. Okay, and car's completely cooled down from, um, you know, sitting overnight. So we're going to, op going to open up the radiator cap here. And... There's not a whole lot of space. I may not even be able to add all of this, you know. So, I mean, it just started leaking and it's not like a severe leak. So let's just add what we can here. careful not to spill this can use a funnel too but I think I'll be able to get this in here Looks like we're going to be able to get it all in there. It's real like when you're pouring it out too, it's really, um, you know, like a thicker consistency. So, okay. Let's put the radiator cap back on here. Okay, so I'm going to drive the car around here for about 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll let the car cool all the way down again and then we'll kind of see what's going on, uh, see if we're getting any leaks. So 
All right, guys, uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, um, it is still leaking pretty good. I just took the car for about a 15 or 20 minute drive, and you can see it's still leaking a lot of antifreeze. So I'm going to have to go get more bars leak, stop leak. All right, guys, so the car is all the way cooled down, and I got a brand new bottle of bars leak, stop leak. So I'm going to shake this up, and then we'll add some more of this in there. Okay, so I'm going to pour in what I can here, and I will be back when I'm done. Okay, so I was able to get about half of the bottle in there, and I'm going to put the radiator cap back on, and then I'll take the car for another 15 or 20 minute drive, and then I'll let the car cool all the way down again, and then I'll be back, and we'll check out what's going on with the car. Okay, so I took the car for about a 20 minute drive and then I let it cool all the way down again and I just took the radiator cap off so I could see what it looked like in there. Just all kind of foamy and stuff. Um, but the good news is if we take a look down here, you can see a really small leak there. And so it, it really significantly stopped the amount of uh, antifreeze leaking out. And you know, even those drips that we see there, that could just be residual from where it was leaking before. So I'm really happy with it. And in this case, between, you know, roughly the third of the bottle that was left in the first bottle that I used, and then roughly half of the second bottle, it looks like we got the majority of the leaking to stop. All right, so here are those leaks that were under the car up close. Not too bad at all. So hopefully that's just residual that's leaking off the uh, bottom of the car. But I'll have to keep an eye on it and see if in the next few days and weeks that, you know, if it continues to leak or not. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. And, you know, we used this stuff about a year ago on that car, and it has worked all the way up until now, until when I saw that antifreeze leak. And, um, you know, I wanted to try it again. With a car that has that many miles, I was looking for the easiest solution um, and the least expensive solution. And since this stuff worked before, I wanted to try it again. And, you know, whether it completely stopped the leak or if it just really reduced it, I'm happy with what it's done to the car uh, thus far. And I'll just have to keep an eye on it for the next few days and weeks just to see what happens. So thank you guys again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.